Hi guys, welcome here again to another interesting news. It's been a long time, it's good to be back again. Welcome you to Everyday Affairs. Still on Mazanam the Camel's release, still on Mazanam Kano's issue. A lot of things have been happening, as we all know. Ipop now is crying out loud, still over the continuous detention of Mazi in Amdi Kano. As we all know that, there have been a lot of court rulings in favor of Mazi Amdi Kano, but the federal government of Nigeria, under uh, the former president, Muhammad Buhari, you know, refused to release Mazi Amdi Kano. And now we have a new president, Bola Tunubu, and he is yet to release Mazi Inamdi Kano, of course, we are all believing that before Christmas, Mazi Inamdi Kano will be released by uh, Tinobu's administration, but we aren't sure yet. Now, Governor Umba, the governor of Enugu State, who is said to be one of the, you know, individuals who have also, uh, you know, be fighting for the release of Mazi Inamdi Kano, probably, is being countered by the indigenous people of Biafra as they send a strong warning to him. Do you think Umba is actually demanding for the release of Mazinam Nikano for IPOP and the people of Southeast? Because you know a lot of people will be wondering why will IPOP be countering the Southeast governor who is also in support of them. But we would like you to see tight as we go into the full details to see the four gist to see what is actually happening according to what has been said you are yapping like a dog and coward that is what has been said by ipop that governor umba is yapping like a dog and coward sending a strong message to umba according to the news the indigenous people of biafra has alleged that the governor of enogun state peter umba is under pressure from Asurog to blackmail, the Supreme Court ahead of its leader in Amdekano's December 15 judgment. IPOP made a claim on Friday while referring to Umba statement describing the group as a proscribed organization. Just like I said earlier that, do you think Umba is actually working in the favor of Inamdekano's release and IPOP? But now just like we just heard that IPOP made this claim while they were referring to Umba's statement of which Umba said uh, IPOP group is a proscribed organization. Now, they insisted that Umba accused IPOP of being responsible for the seat at home in the southeast because of the pressure from Aso Rock. Speaking VAR, a statement by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, the group warned the governor that he would be making a costly mistake if he continued using the group's name to buy favor from President Bolatinobu's administration. A statement by Powerful reads partly The attention of the global movement and family of the indigenous people of BF IPOP, ably led by Oyindu Mazi Inamdikano has been drawn to the unguarded and reckless ultrances from the Enugu State Governor Dr. Peter Umba after his visit to Asorok a few days ago. Dr. Peter Umba addressed IPOP as a proscribed organization and accused us of being responsible for the infamous seat at home because he was under pressure to blackmail IPOP as the Supreme Court judgment of Mazinam Likano's case is days away. The ignoramus Peter Umba forgot that he has publicly condemned Simon Epa, the hijacker and enforcer of Monday sit at home. Is it not obvious that Enogun State Governor Dr. Peter Umba would have been under pressure? By Tsunobu's administration to accuse IPOP of being responsible for the infamous seat at home and insecurity in the southeast. That is why he came out yapping as a mad dog and a coward. Therefore, we urged the public to ignore the ranting 
of a cowardly governor who is under you know pressure from the federal government to demonize IPOP, especially as the court you know the supreme court judgment of mazinam dekano is days away if you continue to use uh, the IPOP name to buy fever from Tenobo's administration you are making a costly mistake IPOP is not a pushover a silence gentleness quietness and love for our people should not be mistaken for cowardice you people be careful that you don't stay up a honest next for your government we know that you talk too much and if you don't know how to speak to the press you should find another person who does that you know another person who does that for you pardon or other means to communicate i pop has antibiotics for you people what is your take to this what is your own reaction to the spring development we've just had a full gist and the full details of why ipop as referred to uh governor in fine umba the governor of enugu state as a coward they said if i am is yapping like a dog and a coward and this is because umba opened his mouth to say that IPOP is a proscribed group. IPOP is a proscribed organization of which didn't go down well with IPOP. Well, we would like you to let us know your own take on what has been said. I'd like you to share your thoughts with us via the comment section on this present situation. But before we go, let's see what people's reactions is on this. Let's see what people have in mind concerning uh, what we've just heard from IPOP concerning uh, the release of Mazanam Dikano and governor ifain umba including also rock and tinubu's administration lawrence umwafo reacted and said please enugu state should be calm for us we residents like it that way enugu state is calm and it will continue to be calm because we like it that way that's what lawrence umwafo have said that please let it remain calm Kinsley also reacted and said, when Biafra comes, people like Umba can never be a leader. Dearing, another powerful reaction from Kinsley, countering, uh, countering um, I find Umba probably in support of IPOP saying that if perhaps Biafra should be actualized, people like I find Umba can never be a leader. Dearing, what is your own take to these different reactions from different people? Concerning the statements from IPOP saying if I Umba is a coward probably because of what he was told or what he has been told to do in the Asura because he has been misbehaving after he returned from Asura. That is what IPOP has said. We would like you to let us know your own take on this. We would like you to share it with us via the comment section. Thank you guys for listening.